Good evening. It is a privilege to gather here again this evening. <laughs> All right, we'll try that again. It is a privilege to be here. I was out here this evening just thinking about how much work goes into something like this, and not just that, but how much of God's grace has to come together for something like this to come together. Um, there was a lot that went into this school year. We started the year not knowing if we were going to be able to have school all year and first week and so on. And here we are, nearing the end, um, able to give a program to show the, the things that God has taught us throughout the, the school term here. And we're just grateful. And we're grateful that you are here. And we hope it can be an evening of worship and enjoyment as the students um, show you some of the things they've worked hard on. So thanks again for being here. I'd like to sing a song, and then I'll turn it over to Mr. Byler after that. So we're going to sing the song, Seek Ye First. So, Seek Ye First, Ask and Shall Be Given, and Man Shall Not Live. The three verses. No. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for what you've done for us. We thank you for the grace that you've shown us, the mercy, and just the fact that we're able to be here this evening. And I pray that what we do and say and sing this evening would be things that honor you and build up your kingdom. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Is 
didn't act like that today. I'm surprised. <laughs> Tell the students to focus. This thing is going to keep my focus way off. <laughs> I can't do this. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Of it. Still on, on
Jesus Christ, who came to save the world. Twas Jesus Christ, who came to save the world. Twas Jesus Christ, who came to save the world. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He gave his life that we might be.
but we have two soloists in this group. One didn't come this morning because she was sick. The other soloist, I don't know what he did today in the playground, but he ended up, I think, with a broken collarbone, but I'm not sure. Now they're saying maybe it's not broken after all. But anyway, he's in pain. He's not here tonight. So we had to uh, do a little bit of scrambling to make amends for the soloist, but of all things, Megan made it back today, so we're glad for her. And uh, Tim is going to fill in for Joey on the other soloist. And uh, he is probably going to use his folder because he wasn't prepared quite. So, Tim.
I think uh, music is a very powerful thing, and mainly because God made it himself. And when God does something, he doesn't do it halfway or just enough to get by. He does it in an excellent way. There's so much about music that we never learn it all. We never achieve it all. But it is a wonderful tool for worship, and it is a wonderful way to memorize Scripture. So most of us here probably could say the 23rd Psalm. The song that we're about to sing is the 23rd Psalm. It is not in the King James Version, but it is the psalm. And uh, Ralph Carmichael, way back in the 70s, I believe, wrote this song. And uh, I have really enjoyed the melody and the harmony of this. And I uh, thought it would be a neat opportunity for this class to... Uh, not only sing the song, but to know it by memory and know the psalm, the scripture. So here it is, the new 23rd.
Good evening to each one. Um, it's a beautiful evening. Um, God is really good. The hearts uh, or the gift of singing is from God. And it's really um, great to be here this evening. Thank you all for your support for Fairhaven Christian School. We appreciate everyone that has come out. This evening we'd like to do an offering for the general fund for the school. And uh, I have another announcement I'd like to leave with you. We had a chicken barbecue fundraiser, and we raised right around $10,000 for the school. And um,
gave his mandate, share the good news, that he came to save us and set us free. Listen, listen, God is calling through the word inviting, offering forgiveness, comfort and joy. Let none be forgotten. Try your name of God. Go and baptize. Listen, listen, God is calling through the word inviting, offering forgiveness, comfort, and joy. Help us to be faithful, standing steadfast, walking in your precepts.
On this next section of songs, you can see in your program the alumni that are here, uh, young or old, it doesn't matter your age, any of alumni from Fairhaven Christian School are welcome to join us on There Is a Redeemer. That's the second to last song. And then the whole school, including the faculty, teachers will be coming front to do the last song. And the alumni can stay for that song as well and help us with it. And while the students are coming here, uh, I'm going to just talk about this next song that we're doing. Uh, you may wonder about the title, Sticks and Stones. Probably most of us have heard the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but what's the rest of it? Words will never hurt me. And I think all of us know that that really is not true. So this song, written by Larry Nickel, uh, a well-known composer, uh, deals with the scripture that we have in James about our tongue. It is a powerful little tool that we have in our mouth, both for good and for evil. And the song brings that out as well, if you're listening carefully. But especially the bad that we can say can be very, very hurtful. And I think especially now in this time of COVID and families perhaps not even agreeing on whether we should be wearing masks or doing all these other things, um, it is difficult sometimes to keep your tongue. I know that from experience. But I think this song... Uh, is good for all of us all the time to remind us that gossip for sure is way out of bounds. And the song brings out the fact that if you don't have something good to say about someone, then it's best just not to say anything at all about that person. <laughs> good reminder for me and for all of us. So this song has a unique ending. Uh, when you think it might be over, maybe you need to wait just a little bit longer. So. Something's a wicked thing. 
you students and teachers. I guess we'll thank the alumni. They pitched in here at the end. And Mr. Byler, thank you. I was inspired, and I hope you were as well. You know, there were a couple of firsts tonight. I've never seen Mr. Byler drop his music. <laughs> never. And I've seen a lot of his programs over the years. And I guess we can blame that on the stand. I've also never seen uh, first and second grade soloists who are significant, significantly more confident behind the mic than what I would be if I had their assignment. And we also had a pitch hit soloist who did quite well. Um, so this was an inspiring evening. If I were to sum this up in a few words, I would say this was an evening of faith and hope and praise an inspiration that God will come through for us if we believe. So I want to thank the students for their hard work and Mr. Byler as well. We're going to do something a little different here. Um, most of you probably know that this is Mr. Byler's last year here at Fairhaven. He's been here now for 12 years. So we're going to spend, spend a little bit of time here at the end uh, honoring him. Uh, but before we do that, I'll just dismiss the students, so you can just dismiss by row uh, and find a seat, and then we'll spend uh, some time um, sharing a few things about Mr. Byler. So go ahead, front row, you guys can be You know, learning music in a setting like this is really crucial. I don't know if you've given it much thought, uh, but if children learn music in grade school, it makes a significant difference in our churches and um, in our worship. And I want to acknowledge Mr. Byler in that tonight. Um, I want to ask... A few people, Tyler, you can stay up here. There's three people that I want to ask to uh, just mention some memories about Mr. Byler. Uh, Hannah Petersheim, uh, Tyler Lapp, and Jason Smoker. So if the three of you could come up, and we'll give you the mic in that order. Hannah Petersheim. Tyler and Jason. Actually, Tyler, go ahead. You're here. So as I was sitting, listening to the program, just, I just recognized a lot of the songs that I used to sing, and I just wanted to, to join in singing them. Um, yeah, M Mr. Byler just taught me a lot. Just, he taught me um, to, love, to love singing. I, I didn't think I enjoyed singing when I was younger. I, don't think, I think I did. But um, I, he, he taught me to enjoy singing taught me a lot about key signatures and just, um, yeah, just all, just all the basics. And if you have that, it, it can just help you a lot. Um, I remember, yeah, just singing and there's a lot that goes on up here that, that you don't know about. Mr. Mr. Byler always had a bunch of hand, hand motions to keep us in check and remind us of certain things. Um, during class, he'd often um, go on bunny trails here or there. Um, just get him started talking about Ronald Reagan or his pigs. Or, or his bull story that usually take the whole class. So if you could do that, I was, that, that was really good. So thank you, Mr. Byler, for, for all you taught me. Um, it's because of you that, that I enjoy singing the way I do today. Well, I was doing some rough figuring before I came. And if my math is correct, 12 years ago, I was in second grade, and Mr. Byler was teaching music for the first time at Fairhaven. So I was in second grade when he began, and I had him as a music teacher all the way through middle school, which um, I view as a huge blessing in my life. Um, I know when we went into high school, my class, we went to Faith and Terry Hill, and all our music teachers said, those Faith and Terry Hill kids have the best handle on music of any of our students. So I think that says a lot about Mr. Byler's teaching. Um, we learned a lot of important things about music. Um, 
just how to read music, and that's something I still use today and I'm super grateful for. We also had a lot of fun times, like, can't help but mention the bull story. If you know, you know. Um, if you could get Mr. Byler started on that, you did a pretty good job, and no music class that day. <laughs> so, good memories. Also have good memories of choosing candy out of his Christmas hat and having a party after the program the next music day. Lots of good memories. So, thank you, Mr. Byler. I really appreciate everything. So the stories have been mentioned, and um, I won't take them any further. But as a parent and as a board member um, over the years, I used to kind of wonder a little bit, um, what are we supposed to be learning in music class when our children, I could tell the stories. The Bull story, Ronald Reagan, Grandma Kaufman. But you know, I think uh, one of the things I've seen with Mr. Byler over the years is, um, and, and when I was thinking here this evening about sharing a few things here, I, one word that came to my mind was impro improvise. You saw it, right? The music um, fell down, um, he gathered his wits together and kept things under control and I th feel like he responded really, really well to that situation. Um, most of us would have wanted to run for the back door or hope the earth would open up and receive us, right? But he responded to it well, and that's what we've seen over the years. His ability to do that, and if you've heard him, um, sometimes he sings along with the one part just to, to boost that part, and uh, that has all served well. Music is a gift, Mr. Byler said this evening, and I believe it is a gift. Larry mentioned that it's benefited our, our, ch our churches, our families, um, just a tad bit of history here, if you can bear with me. When Elmer Glick was still at Fairhaven School, we had a fairly strong music program, and then his son Wendell followed up on that for a few years. And then there was a few t uh, time period there where our music program really struggled. And uh, someone gave M Mr. Byler's name to, to contact, and we contacted him. And I feel that well, you saw what, I'm struggling this evening. Because I think, Mr. Bowder, you outdid yourself tonight in the program. And I'm thinking, why quit now? But I respect your decision and honor you and bless you in that, um, nonetheless. And so it has served our, us well. It has served our church as well. I believe we've seen in Mind Road Church um, a difference in our singing. I know we have. Our, our children, different ones that I've talked to, that had Mr. Byler for a music teacher, feel their appreciation for music today is directly affected by Mr. Byler's teaching. And we're not here to just set Mr. Byler up on some kind of pedestal that's gonna collapse, but we're here to honor and thank you for what you've done for us. We really appreciate it. And God bless you as you move on. Um, the person coming after you, I'm glad it's not me. He's got um, shoes to fill. And, but I believe there's a foundation been laid and I believe this transition can work and, and it'll work out well because of the foundation that's been laid. Thank you, Mr. Byler, and God bless you. One observation that I made just tonight is that uh, the, the students not only know how to sing, but they enjoy singing. And there's something about learning to enjoy singing that I believe serves us very well. I have a plaque here on behalf of the school, Mr. Byler. It says, Certificate of Appreciation to Dwylan Byler for 12 years of teaching music at Fairhaven Christian School. On behalf of students, parents, and staff, we wish to express our sincere thanks for your willing years of service and the date of today. Thank you. This is a great honor, and I thank you, too, for, uh, for sharing this with me tonight. Um, 
You know, Jason, I'm not really sure either sometimes why the Lord leads us on the way he does. But I just felt like it was time. Um, and I'm not really sure what the Lord has for me from now, but I do know that I need a bit of rest. <laughs> that may sound strange, but it just is time for a little bit of rest. And uh, I'm not sure that this is the final, final year of teaching music ever, but it is for now. So, uh, students, uh, I just want to say this in front of everybody. This year has been a treasure year for me that I will not forget. And it's largely because of the way that you have really worked this year and, and made it a very positive year. I can't say enough about that. Eighth graders especially, I want to just uh, thank you for your spirit, your attitude, your singing ability, but more than that, the attitude towards it and just really singing your hearts out. That has been such a joy to me to have the older grades lead the school this year in a very, very positive way. So thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Byler, and God bless you as you go on from here. May I sit down? You may sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, you may also be seated. A few more announcements here before we close. Um, there is cards in your brochures. Uh, if you'd like to write a note to Mr. Byler, a note of encouragement, you can do that. Drop in the basket in the back by the doors, and there's pencils back there if you need them. Uh, thank you for coming and for your support. Uh, family members, friends, thank you for the offering. Uh, the offering was $1,661. Really appreciate your support uh, for our school here, not only tonight, but in other ways as well. So thank you for that. Um, I would also ask you, uh, those of you who are able to help clean up chairs, uh, a little bit after we dismiss here, um, assist with that. And thank you again for coming and sharing this evening with us. Let's stand together and then we'll pray and then you can consider yourselves dismissed. Father, thank you for this opportunity to worship you like this. Thank you that you're a God who is worthy of praise, a God that we can um, feel safe and secure putting our faith and trust in. Uh, thank you that this world is not my home, that we are just passing through. We are more grateful to that, of that now than probably we would have been a number of years ago. So we look forward to the future. Thank you for Mr. Byler and for what he's done here at Fairhaven. I pray that you would guide and bless him as he goes from here. Thank you for our school, for providing for us this year in many ways as you have. I pray for the teachers and the students as they finish out this term. Thank you again for blessing us. Thank you for this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. You are dismissed.